Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Friday, September 6th, 2019. Uh, not a bad day at all. Absolutely freaking gorgeous to be honest with you. Uh, low 70s today, kind of cloudy a little bit, which is okay. And uh, not bad at all. No trails in the sky. So now I want to talk about that really quickly before we get into topic. Uh, contrails and chemtrails, okay? Now I know the difference because a contrail, um, when the plane is going, that dissipates really, really quickly. The chemtrails, that stuff will stay in the air for hours and then it spreads out. So you can't tell me that that's condensation. That's bull crap, okay? So the people that said that it, there's, oh, no, no, this is just what it is and blah, 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 I'm, I'm not buying it because it's like when you see some planes go by and they're just very short trail behind them and it dissipates very, very quickly, um, you know, that's a contrail. When you have the line in the sky for miles and miles and miles and it sits up there for hours and then it spreads out, that's a chemtrail. So just want to clarify that really, really quickly while I was thinking about it. But very, very nice day today. So I'm going to jump into topic really quickly here because I don't want to, you know, but I got ahead to get on my soapbox for a minute. Um, we're going to talk about the UK and Johnson, who's the new prime minister over there, and because uh, he got booted May out of there. Now, three years ago, the British people voted to get out of the European Union. Three years later, they're still in the European Union. Now, Johnson just had a, uh, they were doing a vote to do um, snap elections to get things squared away so that they could pull out of the European Union. Now, this is what kills me. He has to now go back to the European Union and negotiate a withdrawal. How ridiculous is that? If you don't want to be part of an organization, uh, you should be able to get out of it with absolutely no problem. I just, it just, the people in power don't want the UK out of the European Union. So that's why here three years later after this vote, uh, you know, you are still in the European Union. Uh, Theresa May did absolutely nothing, obviously, with that. And um, so, you know, she got booted out and Johnson was elected in is the uh, new prime minister and he wants out i mean he's you know that was his platform he wants out of the european union and it's like you know and he's being blocked every time he turns around um, i find it very very interesting i actually feel really really bad for the uh the people in the uk just because everything overall um you have mass immigration you have uh you know different places now that uh you know the average european citizen cannot go um, you know, their UK citizen cannot go. They have no go zones. And it's just, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous how, how that is over there now. So I, my heart goes out to you guys. It really, truly does. I wanted to mention something. Somebody had sent me a video yesterday, and it was really, really disturbing. I didn't even watch the whole video because it was that disturbing. And they were talking about what's really going on in South Africa. Okay, and I've done a video before about what's happening with the farmers being um, having their land taken with no uh, due process and no compensation that their land is just being taken over um, just like it was done in Zimbabwe and Zimbabwe ended up turning into a, a, a you know a wasteland these farmers that had been there forever and ever and ever um, now Zimbabwe wants their farmers back but we're talking about a little bit what I saw in this video yesterday and I'm gonna tell you what guys this was really disturbing and like I said I did not watch the whole video so what the video was and I don't know the context of the video I don't know what led up to the video there was no audio on the video of what this man was accused of or what he did or any of that type of stuff but what it was it was a white gentleman that was on his back he had uh, his arms were being held and his legs were being held apart and his genitals were gone gone and there was a uh, pit bull eating in that area I mean it's really really disturbing It was very very difficult to watch and like I said I did not watch the whole thing because it was that disturbing um, so but that's you know the, and this is what this person said he goes this is what's going on in South Africa um, I know there's a lot of attacks on white people in South Africa um, I know that uh, you know the government perpetuates that whole thing over there and of course they want to blame the white man for all their problems and all their troubles um, you know and so it's just 
it's sad. It really, really sad. First of all, what, what saddens me, not even the whole thing that it's a white guy and it was black guys or all, any of that type of stuff, but what saddens me is that one human being would do what was being done to this gentleman. And he was screaming, I mean, you know, and it's like, I just, it was, it, like I said, it was just absolutely disgusting to watch. But, um, and like I said, I didn't even watch the whole thing. I saw maybe 20 seconds of it and I just couldn't even watch anymore. I was just like, oh my God, this was, it was horrific. But that one human being could do that to another human being um, is beyond shocking that uh, that cruelty is out there. I'm just watching where the pups are. Stay over here. Come on. Come on, babies. Hey. Caesar and Pandora, good babies. She's an instigator, I'm telling you what, guys. She really, truly is. He's a good pup, and she's just a bad girl. So, but anyway, um, you know, it's just uh, atrocities have happened throughout the history of mankind and will continue to happen. And if you think realistically, and I want to be realistic here for a moment, if you think that realistically that people won't do that to each other here in the United States, um, on a smaller scale it's already happened, um, on a smaller scale. But you know what, it, it just, people that do these type of things to each other, um, I, I find it a absolutely repulsive that you would do something that cruel or something that awful to another human being. And uh, so, but, uh, you know, th that's straight up torture is what that is. And uh, so I'm sure, you know, they were planning on killing a guy. I mean, if, I mean and, and I'm talking everything in that area was gone. Um, and the dog was eating him. And so it was, uh, it was, it was absolutely horrible. But anyway... So, um, what was I going to say? Uh, so anyway, uh, guys, I'm going to be on the live stream tonight, and uh, we're going to be talking more about the hurricane and what's going on and the effects of it and that type of stuff, and explaining again one of the main reasons of why we do prep is for events like this. Uh, that's the majority of why most people prep, because you never know what's going to happen, and to be prepared for those type of events is very, very important. Okay, so that's one of the main reasons why we do what we do. So I definitely, um, we're going to go over that tonight. We're going to talk about the power outages and, and people without power. And again, we're going to, you know, why, why do we do what we do? Why do we prepare? Why do we get ready? So we're going to talk about all those things tonight in the live stream. Um, if you would like to join me, that is going to be at 8 o'clock tonight, uh, Eastern Standard Time. And so um, I look forward to seeing you guys then. And, uh, but anyway, so there's just, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing to me, you know, what people are willing to do to each other. Where'd those dogs go now? Caesar! Pandora! Sorry, guys. I know some people don't like it when I call my dogs when I'm out here, but it gives them an opportunity to run generally when I'm out here, and they generally don't go very far. So I don't know what they're doing right now, or where they went. So I'll have to find them in a minute. But anyway, so uh, not—it's it, weird too because I—I I was I was gone for a good part of the day. I had some running around I did today, so um, I didn't. I had the power on, and it was already in absorption mode. So we didn't really bring in a tremendous amount of power because the power wasn't being used. Usually, if I got the power on and we're using it. Uh, you know, we are, are bringing in more power at that point. Puppies! Caesar! Pandora! Where'd they go now? <laughs> they were just here. I mean, I think they ran off up this way. But, uh... Ay, ay, ay. So, anyway, guys, um... Oh, there's the cats, ready to go in. Like I said, I've been gone most of the day. So, they're like... What are you doing? Hey, A.B., how we doing? Okay, go on. Lucia going in. Go ahead. Go on. Go on in. Go on. You going to go? Go on. Lucy, go on. No? All right. So, anyway, uh, so let's take a look at what we brought in today. So, eggs-wise, uh, we brought in five eggs so far today. Three adult and two juvenile eggs, or two pullet eggs, if you will. And uh, so we're going to kick this on. 
Yeah, we haven't really brought in a lot. We've only brought 2.0 kilowatt hours in total, but we're in float and the batteries are in great shape. So, and yeah, they're 99%. So just because I hadn't had the power on and I wasn't using it, that's why it wasn't pulling it in because there's just no reason to have it coming in. So anyway, that's what's happening here. Um, I want to hear your guys' feedback on this whole thing with the UK, what you think about uh, the UK trying to pull out of the European Union, and why is there such a delay with that? What is the ridiculousness of why they're not allowing them to do that uh, three years later after they voted on that? So I find that, I find that fascinating. Okay. So anyway, I want to definitely hear your feedback on that, and uh, I want to hear what you guys have to say. And so anyway, guys, um, remember... We are all in this together. That's important to remember. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. Also remember, STD, guys, is one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is yourself. That's it. All right, I will talk to you all later. I will see you tonight at 8 o'clock on the live stream. Have a great day. Prepper Nurse One, out for